Okay, um, hello primary schools, hello cluster. Um, as you know, we're going to be doing an experiment uh, which is all about how much energy there is in different cereals. So, to prepare you for that, you're going to have to write a little plan. And to do that plan, I thought I'd show you some of the equipment that you're going to be using when you come up to us. Um, we're going to do the same experiment, but instead of using cereals, we're going to use um, frazzles, okay? Which are crisps. Okay, not very good crisps. Really. So, um, let me introduce you to some of the equipment, okay? First of all, we've got one of these. Here you notice its shape, it's a cylinder. It's a measuring cylinder. We use this to measure volume, okay? How much liquid we've got. Uh, we've got one of these, which I'm sure you're all quite familiar with. This is a thermometer or a thermometer. Uh, used for measuring temperature. Uh, this then, okay, is a boiling tube, okay, you might not have come across one of these before. Um, this is um, something we're going to use today now um, to contain our liquid, which I'll explain in just a little bit. So this is a Bunsen burner, okay, um, we burn other things other than Bunsen's, um, but it's used just for, for heating in science, okay. I'm named after Robert Bunsen. It is Robert Bunsen, isn't it? Okay, no? Okay. <laughs> And here we've got a, a clamp stand, okay? Um, this is our clamp, this is our stand, and this little bit here is called the boss, but essentially it's a clamp, and this is the stand there as well, okay? So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna try and figure out how much energy is in this crisp, and to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to burn it, and see how much energy it gives off, by seeing how much it causes the temperature in some water to rise, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my measuring cylinder, which is something you're gonna be doing on the day. If you just follow me over here, if we're gonna measure 25 milliliters, a good way of doing it is to put your thumb next to the 25, okay? I'll be looking to see the people do this when they come up. You put your thumb next to the 25, so that when you fill it up, you fill it up to your top of your thumb, and it's easy to see then just how much you need. So 25 ml of water, okay? Then, you're gonna put that to one side for a second and you're gonna take your boiling tube, okay? Now, you're gonna very carefully open up the clamp and pop it in. Now, then you gotta be careful of here is not to tighten too much, because I'm sure you can imagine what will happen if I tighten it too much, okay? It could cause the glass to quite bright. And then you're gonna turn it. You're gonna angle it just like this, okay? Angle it just like this. And this is because you're going to be heating the water that we're gonna pop into here now with um, our burning crisp, okay? And when you heat it, you want it to be the case that it's not, um, not vertical. You can heat the water a little bit more effectively if it's at an angle, okay? So, what I do now um, is I'm gonna pour my 25 ml water in here, okay? And um, we're gonna light our Bunsen. That's the next thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you through in far more detail how we safely use a Bunsen when you come up to visit us in the school, okay? But for now, all you need to know is that this is a safety flame. It's a yellow flame. Um, we're gonna be um, just using this then to light our frazzle, our crisp, okay? So the basic gist is we're going to light our crisp in the Bunsen, and then we're gonna use the energy that's in that crisp to heat the water. And what we're gonna do is measure the temperature change. Now. I said temperature change then and not temperature. To measure the temperature change, we're gonna to need to take a measurement for what the starting temperature is, okay? So the starting temperature here, I read it off my thermometer, get nice and level with it, it's 22 degrees. So I'm gonna make a note of the fact that it's 22 degrees to start off with. And what we're gonna see is just how much energy is in this crisp by setting it alight and seeing how much water we can heat or see how much we can heat the water by. So I get it into the flame, I get it burning, 
And once it's burning, you pop it underneath and it'll boil into. Now, the idea is that the more energy the crisp has, the hotter the water will get. So some crisps, just like some cereals that we're going to do in our investigation, will have more energy than others. Okay? So for example, um, sugar puffs may have more energy than cornflakes. And if that's the case, then what we'd expect to see is a bigger rise in temperature for your sugar puffs compared to cornflakes. Okay. Try and hold it not too close to the boiling too. You want as much of that heat to get into the boiling tube as possible. The problem is, some of that heat you can see is maybe not going directly into the water. So you've got to try your best to heat that water up as evenly as you can. And then, crisp is done. Okay, so it's lost its energy. Now quite quickly, just give it a little stir. Okay, give it a little stir and look at the temperature and what it's gone up to. So you'll remember I said that the temperature started off at what, 21 degrees, I think I said. And now, after a little stir, I can see the temperatures have gone up to 59 degrees. So, what I do now is I note down my new temperature, how much the temperature's gone up by. And now, I need to repeat the experiment, but for a different crisp. But in our investigation, we'll be repeating the experiment for a different type of cereal. Long story short, the cereal that causes the biggest temperature increase is the one with the most energy, and the one with the most energy is probably the best um, for an Olympic athlete to compete in the heptathlon or something like that. Okay? So um, the thing is, if I'm going to repeat the experiment, I've got to be very careful to do something, and that is to change the water. I'll let you have a little think about why. I'm going to do that, but if I'm going to do the experiment again, I need to make sure that I change the water and use some fresh from the tap. I really look forward to seeing you up in config. Um, good luck with writing your plan for the investigation. Um, as I say, those apparatus, maybe quickly again, um, this is a heat mat, I didn't mention that before, sorry. Um, we've used a thermometer. We've used a Bunsen burner, a clamp stand, this is a boiling tube, this is a measuring cylinder. So good luck with writing your plan for investigating how much energy there is in a cereal. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.